All right, guys, it's Jerngum here. A lot of people in Leicester and Blackburn and Pendle were hoping that things were going to be getting better with coronavirus. They didn't expect to have another lockdown for another two weeks. This is the video what the, um, Matt Hancock has said in the UK about it, and a lot of people are angry about it, and some people ain't, and some people are. So we're going to play the video. We can all feel the pain. We, we wish it was back to normal, but uh, let's play the video. We all don't like what's going on, but it's happening. Unfortunately, it's very sad news. From London to Leicester. London, London to Leicester. Will remain locked down. Other restrictions, like those for travel and only having social gatherings of up to six people, for example, were, will remain in force. And measures introduced on the 4th of July, like reopening the hospitality sector, will also not yet apply. Watching the announcement over 100 miles away was the city's mayor, a man angry and frustrated by the political handling of this local lockdown. I'm angry, uh, frustrated, very disappointed, uh, but frankly not surprised. Although our analysis found infection rates fell here... I can understand why people are angry. They want to make a living and make July, money, and they can't. The city still has the highest rate Some of them can't and have to make, uh, deal with what they got. It's here in East Leicester where the virus has been spreading in clusters. Many young people have been bringing it back asymptomatically to these multi-generational and overcrowded homes. It's why an army of volunteers have been tasked with handing out self-testing kits to every household. But it comes with issues. Language is a real barrier here. And in heavily South Asian populated areas, a car spreading public health messages in Gujarati, Hindi and Punjabi is desperately needed. But even that doesn't stop people breaking the rules. This man complaining about lack of social distancing on this busy road. And in this diverse city, the lockdown has fueled community tensions. Outside the hotspots, people are annoyed. Basically, there's no social distancing at all. You know, with all the takeaways and all that. For everybody in the city, this 10% of the area that seems to be um, the, the spot that's the hot spot, why should all of us have to uh, forego our holidays, forego our freedom? We're being treated like social pariahs by the rest of the country. There's one rule for us, another rule for other people. We're trying to do as we're told, follow the guidelines. And other people are just going out running in and doing what they like. In other parts of the country, more testing may have led to an increase in coronavirus cases. Blackburn and Pendle, both areas on the rise, but with detailed testing data, they can act much quicker. Leicester is not yet out of the woods. Indications are that it's far off. They will welcome local powers here, but it's something they've wanted from the beginning to stop this extended lockdown. Into my Rashid, Sky News in Leicester. Well, as you heard from the TV, what we're saying, we need to really pull together this coronavirus. If we don't listen to the guidelines and rules, it's sometimes the rules and guidelines are a bit boring as you guys and girls know, but we have to abide by them. As the country just go haywire, there'd be no rules so people can do what they want in the country. To a certain degree, we can do what we want, but uh, not to annoy anybody else. But anyway, thank you for joining me. What do you guys go think about this video? Do you think it's right? Do you think it's wrong? Are people not listening to the rules or doing what they want to do? And you know, well, some of us are listening to the rules and other people ain't. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Peace.